and uh welcome back to shell's closet while you are here go ahead and hit that thumbs up button you see this little red button right down there go ahead and hit that to the right of that is a little bell that you definitely want to hit so you know anytime i post anything up on this channel if you can be so kind and go right up here to the community tab and vote 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 for a song any song you want to hear me sing this coming saturday for saturday night vibes here are the songs that are winning right now go ahead and be sure to vote for your favorite song um i am going to give you guys a disclaimer right here um i'm gonna go ahead and put this spinning globe right here um because in this disclaimer uh the views and opinions that are expressed the things that i'm about to say on this channel it's truly coming from my heart i told you guys i was going to take you guys with me on this journey of healing and self-discovery and um buckle your seat belt because it's about to be a pretty bumpy ride um let me get these other pleasantries out the way and then we're gonna get right into this video y'all know what time it is it's juice time so of course i am still sticking with peace so i'm gonna get a sip of this i got my b clear right here and uh then we're gonna get into this video one moment please i forgot to say thank you to everyone that wished kira a happy birthday and then we're gonna get into this video I'm going to go better, better, better. Nine months ago, the love of my life left me for her ex-girlfriend. <clears throat> it sounds so, it hits so different when you say it out loud. It's one thing when you know it and you just feel it, but when you hear yourself say it out loud, it sounds totally different. Anyways, I said that to say, yesterday afternoon, I became a member of the divorce club. <clears throat> this is so hard for me. Because as you just heard me say, the love of my life left me. Um, people around me have been asking me how I feel. And all I can say is I'm extremely sad. I'm extremely sad because I'm divorced. And I don't even know why I'm divorced. Yes, my wife, my ex-wife left me for her ex-girlfriend. But I don't even know what led to that taking place. I don't even know what I did. I don't even know anything but that I am divorced. I am disappointed. Mainly because I bust my ass. I worked so fucking hard to make this shit work. But it ended the way it ended. I'm disappointed in the way that it ended. I do not feel like anything that I have done warranted that. Um, so if you're wondering how I'm feeling, I'm extremely sad and I'm extremely disappointed. When you work so hard for something, and it still fails. I know I'm not going to be here forever. 
It just sucks that I'm here right now. It sucks that there hasn't been any communication outside of YouTube or the divorce papers. So I'm going to take this time right now and appeal to you. You that is watch this video. If you are in a relationship. If you are in a marriage and you do not want to be there any longer, you have found someone else to take your focus off of the one that you were with. You owe it to the person that you are with right now to talk to them. Use your words. We are all surviving, have survived a global fucking pandemic. The least you can do is show some human decency and use your words. I want us to do away with the hurt people, hurt people shit. Hurt people need to go sit down somewhere and get some fucking help. You are surviving, have survived a global fucking pandemic. If you cannot grip with life, get some fucking help. I know um, I'm not going to be here forever, but I'm here on this journey and it hurts like fucking hell. Y'all can't even see, like, it's, I'm shaking. That's just how hurt I am. Six years. Five years married. That's not even included. This was my friend. This was my love. This was the love of my life. Gone in minutes with no communication. So I want to appeal to you to just use your words. Don't ghost them. Send some love. Um, I'm drinking peace, but this shit hurts. It hurts. And I told y'all I was going to bring y'all on the journey with me. I'm here right now. I'm hurt. I am broken. Like, I am so broken right now. Broken. That's the only word I got is broken. I know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And I found peace in this quote right here. And this quote comes from Henry Ward Beecher. And it says, one's best success comes after the greatest disappointment. I'm going to say that one more time. One's best success comes after their greatest disappointment. I am so disappointed right now. I am so sad. I am broken. Again, I want to appeal to you. If you are thinking about ending anything, it don't have to just be a relationship or a marriage. If you are ending your working relationship, at least you could do is communicate that. Communication. Use it. If you haven't, Already like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> Feel free to do that. <sighs> I don't care how broken I am. I don't care what my day is like. I will never leave a video without telling you guys to love yourself. Love yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself. Trust. Trust yourself. And just be yourself. And I mean this part with my whole entire heart. If your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, everyone who has ever said that they love you, do not love, respect, and appreciate you for just being you, you do not need them. You don't.
you are surviving a global fucking pandemic. If you are hurt, get some fucking help. If church ain't doing it for you, find you a fucking therapist. Get some help. You shouldn't want to walk around here the same way you've been walking around here before this pandemic. Get some help, y'all. We have to do better. We have to do better. I have nothing more to give right now. Um, you know what time it is. If you don't know what time it is, I suggest that you watch the finger, sweetie, because they will tell you. Until I upload another video or go live. We gotta do better. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you to everyone who leaves comments. Thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes and follows and all of those things. Just thank y'all for being here with me on this been a hell of a journey. And I know I'm not done. And I hope that y'all continue to join me so y'all see that you can make it through it. Not over it, not around it, through it. Once you go through something, you destroy that shit. We destroying shit. That's where we at in 2021. Until next time, peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell. Thank you.